What is up, 8% Nation? I'm Cody Askins, and I'm extremely excited about today's live interview with Mr. Matt Mungia, brother. Thank you, for and, and, and welcome to the video, man. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate you being a part of this. So, so for those who don't know Matt, and I'm telling you what, if you don't know this man, you got to hear his story. I'm telling you what, it's super inspiring. It's motivational. First time I heard it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this dude's impressive. But I'm telling you what, Matt is the president and founder owner of Insurance Squad. He's not only going to have a booth at a Nation Insurance Wealth Conference, which is literally, buddy, 21 days, 13 hours, 58 minutes, and 56 seconds from now. But he's also a panel speaker. So you guys, the attendees that will be at this conference, you're going to have a chance to ask the legend himself some questions live from stage at Nissan Stadium. Dude, hey, for those that don't know a ton about you yet, buddy, um, and I know a lot do, kind of give them a little background on who Matt is. Yeah, thanks, Cody. So, you know, I've been in the insurance business for about 13 years now and um, kind of transitioned my way into final expense. Uh, as I told my story before, I, um, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't land a job to save my life. So, uh, wow. I think New York life is the first one that gave me a chance, uh, to, to get in the insurance game. And, uh, you know, I was with them for a few years and then, uh, learned the game really there and then kind of transitioned into mortgage protection for many years, learned some of the mortgage protection game and then, uh, transitioned over to final expense. To me, it was just an easier process, uh, easier way to, uh, to, to help clients, uh, not a whole lot of underwriting and, and, and this, that, and the other. So uh, I found a home here at, at, with final expense. Yep, completely about it, dude. And, 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 and did you ever, man, because uh, you, you jumped out, and if, I've, I've, heard, I've, I've, I've heard you say it, help, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you wrote five hundred and five thousand dollars again, and yes, I think I said that correctly. Five hundred five million in twenty fifteen, selling final expense by yourself. Right, right, yeah. That's insane. That's. Can you walk us through that for a second? Because I'm telling you what, dude. That's like that. That's incredible. That's really, yeah. really awesome. And it looks like we're breaking up a little bit, Cody. So I'm catching yeah. every other word. So. Okay. Uh, but I think I, I, I got your question. Um, yeah, so so the background on it, just a little synopsis is Yeah, I, I think right. I'm going in and out. I apologize for the internet, man. Bad, Thank bad, you. Bad, bad connection. Okay, so um, it was uh, it, it was twenty fourteen, it was around this time in twenty fourteen. And I met up with a couple of buddies I had been connected with on, on the phone and the internet. And, um, and so we all decided to meet in Jackson, Mississippi. And um, we were going to, it was just a fun competition. We we're going to test each other's systems out, see who came out on, on top after a couple of days of, of writing. Right. So that's what we did. So we went, got a hotel room. Uh, went in like on a Wednesday night, I think it was, and we worked all day Thursday and Friday. And the deal was, uh, let's see who who comes out on top, right? So, so that's what kind of started my new system of what it is today. So I had my previous system that I've been working for many years on cruise control, as I like to say, right? So, right. So I was just kind of going through the motions. I I, I knew my stuff really well, but uh, I never had this big explosive crazy number. I mean, I still did well. I would win trips here and there uh, each year, just like one trip. But but I never had that explode. I never 10 x it as a, as Grant Cardone. Would say. Yeah. So when I went over there to, uh, to Jackson, Mississippi with these guys, uh, one guy never left the hotel. You know, he just sat there and drank the whole time. <laughs> the other guy, uh, who, who ran, he ran, I think, uh, 400,000 the previous year. So that's the one I kind of, uh, uh, ran this little fun competition with. And, uh, that's where we where I found my, there was holes and flaws in my system. And I'm coachable. I don't think I know it all. In fact, I know I don't know it all, right? So I was coachable enough to 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 pick bits and pieces of what he was doing, and we would compare notes of our, you know, how you run your system. So um, so that's kind of how the how everything transpired. You know, I went from going two and three appointments a, a day to when I went over there. So I, you know, during this competition, 
I said, I need to step my game up. I'm going against this guy. He's really good. So I told my appointment, I said, hey, we're going to, we're going to set, I want five to six appointments uh, a, a, a day, you know, for this little competition. So I'm thinking I'm going to go in there and, and, and blow him out of the water with five or six appointments. And so I remember I was eating brunch with my family, actually. And I remember texting the guy. I said, hey, I hope you're bringing your A game because I got five or six appointments each day. And he texts back and he says, man, I hope you're joking. I got like 12 each day. And I'm, I'm blown away. I'm thinking he's... <laughs> He's joking, right? So I'm like, 12? I was like, there's no way you can run 12 appointments in a day, right? I've never heard of this. Like, this, no. is, I said, this is three years ago. Now it's internet land. Everybody does a million dollars and blah, 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 right? Yeah. Yeah. But, but this was back in the day when, when uh, I mean, nobody, I had never heard of 12 appointments in a day. It's like, how do you even fit that in? It's impossible, right? So, yeah. well, you know, he was doing it 30, 30 minutes apart and he was seeing more people than me. And so... Anyway, we ran the competition. It was fun. I think I did 7,000 in two days. He did like 7,150 in those two days. So he, 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 he got me. But what I learned was that I need to get in front of more people per day and I need to order more leads um, if I, you know, to, to, to hit those kind of crazy numbers. And so that really, that's honestly what sparked my, you know, I changed my system. So I went back and uh, immediately up my lead order and I said, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to go crazy with it. I want to see what's possible. Yeah. What happened. I wanted to see what was possible. What am I capable of? And that's what sparked that, that big year. Sorry to ramble on. Uh, Dude, no, no, that was incredible, man. That's, that's, I mean, that, that's what our audience and everyone a part of Apes Nation needs to hear. What would you say the, the biggest difference between your original system your 20, 2015 system, what you kind of learned along the way. And I love that you, you know, that you say that you're coachable. I think that's for, for you to say that live on camera, like that's should be humbling for a lot of agents and, and to realize that, Hey, you can never stop learning. And, and that's, that's why you're such a special dude and why you've been, been so great at this in this business. Um, so the biggest difference between your systems is, I mean, you spent more money mm -hmm. you, you, you're on, on, on buying more leads. And yep. you ran more appointments per day. Yeah, and I got in front. Of, I was just getting in front of more people. How, you know? how many? How, how many days a week? I was running five days a week, and if if I don't turn any appointments down, uh, you know, so if, if they needed to meet on a Saturday or a Sunday, well, then I would accommodate that, you know. So I ran to their schedule, not to my schedule, and I, I think that's, you know, I think that's a big problem with uh, mm -hmm. a lot of agents I talk to is like. Uh, Hey, this is my schedule, and 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 they want all the clients to fit into that schedule. Well, that's not the way you know, the, you can yeah. do. That, but you're going to leave money on the table, you know. And, and and I don't like doing leaving money on the table. I love that. Run to their schedule. That that that's that. I'm 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 already learning stuff. That's awesome. So okay, so run to their schedule now. In 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 kind of give us an average. The the 505k in 2015 of annual premium, super impressive. What? What was kind of your general average number of like, okay, sets, sits, sales, AP, like on a weekly basis? I think I was doing about, I wrote over 700 applications. So whatever that breaks down to, I think between seven and 750 yeah. applications. So I think it was like 15 a week, kind of what I was at, what I would average. 15 a week. Wow. Yeah. You know, um, you know, I, I would have, I would always, I always try to have five or six, at least five appointments a day. Now, five to six, that doesn't mean I was sitting with five people. That means I would have appointments. And then out of those, you know, I have my, my wife as my appointment setter. I trained her up. I think she's pretty good at what she does. So just like anybody else, though, I mean, um, the average day, I would see four people typically. You know, you always have that one no-show or, or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I'd usually see at least three people out of those five, you know, yeah. so yeah. – whatever that amounts to. So, so say I had 25, 25 appointments and I would, you know, uh, sit yeah. down 20 to 25 appointments somewhere in that ballpark. I can't do the math that quick, whatever that is no, no, yeah, yeah. today, and yeah. I three or four uh, approximately a day. And then of those I would write, I probably wrote, seemed like around 70% of the people I sat down with, I think somewhere in that ballpark. Wow. That's awesome. So, so, so impressive. I mean, it, it, that, that, that shows, I, I mean, cause in this business, I think in, I think in the life side it's worse. But about ninety two percent of insurance agents fail. That's the you know the theme and, and hence eight percent nation, right? right? 
that, that's a huge learning lesson for a lot of agents already, already getting value immediately right now. And they haven't even came to the conference yet. Imagine what you will learn at this event with just some of the nuggets that you've already released and they haven't even met you yet. And so what's really cool about what you're saying is, hey, anyone can do more. You got to be coachable. You got to be willing to we got to be willing to spend some dough. You got to be willing to invest in leads. You, you know, you got to, you got to kind of risk it to get the biscuit. You want to do a half a million bucks in a year, dude, you got to risk it. You got to work a lot. You know, I mean, Matt's probably still exhausted from 2015. I mean, that's like, it's just freaking impressive, man. I mean, it's cool. Uh, so thank you for those valuable nuggets. Um, so what was it about? Is there anything else you'd like to add um, real quick for, for, for a struggling agent watching? And they're like, Hey dude, I'm loving this. I want to make a half a million bucks or they're like, you know, I would just love to make a hundred grand, 250 grand, whatever. So that's right. struggling agent out there. What would you say? What, what would your advice be? Yeah. Um, you know, it, there's an epidemic out there. I think right now with, um, you know, agents are not aligning themselves with, with people that have been there and done that. Mm. You know, that that's what I'm finding a lot. So, yeah. so I think, you, you know, uh, you gotta be with somebody that, that, you know, that has been there and done that. That's probably the, the number one biggest thing, you know, it's the blind leading the blind a lot out there. And so, you know, uh, they're not getting the right coaching. They're not, they're not getting the right mentorship. Right. Yep. Yep. Right. So, so I, I mean, that'd be my number one thing is, is, is some people get lucky right out of the gate. They, they get with a good coach or mentor immediately. And um, the learning curve is a lot is lessened. And it gives them a lot higher chance to survive the business, you know, and be part of that 8%. You know, a lot of, a lot of these guys, I'll be honest, doing it for 13 years, I've seen guys that could have been tremendous, but they got aligned with the wrong, whether it's the wrong, I don't want to start naming names. And sure, stuff. sure, sure, but yeah, yeah. Wrong company, whatever. And they were, they were done before they got started. It was over. Wow. Wow. That's great advice. Thank you for doing that. I mean, I know at the end of the day, you know, you're a good dude. You have a big heart and you love helping people. And it shows, man, it really does. Uh, uh, so what was it about this crazy conference that made you want to get involved, man? Because I think we talked really early on and I think we talked yeah. several times along. Yeah, um, it, it, it was a no brainer. So so I saw Grant Cardone. I was down in Miami a couple years ago and uh, the guy I went with um He's, he he said that's my goal up there. He's like he's like I'm gonna one day I'm gonna be up there on the same stage as Grant Cardone talking. Uh -huh. And I never said anything to him, but I thought to myself, you know what? That's a pretty darn good goal. Uh, yeah. That's a pretty cool goal. I didn't want to steal his thunder or anything, so I just kept kept him to myself. I said, you know what? That's probably my goal. And I'm gonna see see if that's my goal. And here we are, two years later. So when you you, you called me, and uh, I said it's a it's a no brainer. I mean, you got guys like yourself and Grant Cardone and Ray Lewis and, and all of all my, these, these colleagues, all my colleagues uh, that, you know, that, that will be up on stage. I said, uh, I said, I gotta go. I, I gotta go. And now check it out. Now I'm going to be uh, on the same stage as, as Grant Cardone. So, uh, um, it's, yeah, it's a pretty cool deal. That's super cool. I mean, it's just crazy to think about that. It's literally, cause I've been just, I mean, I can't, I can't hardly sleep with so much excitement about this thing. And, and you know what, it's, you know, just 21 days away. It's crazy how fast it's flying by, man. It's nuts. Uh, what do you expect for agents to learn from you on the Q and a panel? Obviously you don't know the questions, but just in general, knowing you, knowing what you embody, knowing your experience, what do you expect that maybe if they met you in the hallway, on the elevator, in the VIP lounge, at the party, maybe they picked your ear for a second, whatever, or, just from stage with the live Q&A, what do you expect knowing you, what will agents get to take away from Matt Mungia? It scares me a bit to, to know that uh, they're going to be firing questions away and I have no idea what they're going to ask. But <laughs> I'm that, you know, most people, when they talk to me, they want to know, you know, my system, my system, my system, my system. You know, so I, I would imagine it, it would be a lot of system type questions, um, which is really kind of hard to get out there in that kind of environment True. Sure. how the system works, all the nuts and bolts, you know? So, 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 so I hope I, I, I don't disappoint uh, all these agents out there. If they start asking me some nuts and bolts type questions in the, in the middle of everybody. So 
Yeah, no doubt. Well, you know what? If, if even if they can't learn it all, at least they'll you know pick up pick up some valuable nuggets, learn some stuff that they can implement directly. It'll it'll directly impact their business. It'll help them. Um, so, if an agent's on the fence and they're like, "Man, you know, I, I, I'm thinking about going. I'm not sure if I should go. I'm a I'm a fan of Matt, or I'm a fan of you know GC or or Ray Lewis or Tim Story or Coach Bird or any of these other guys." If an agent's on the fence. Help, help me push them over, man. Why should an agent attend an insurance wealth conference like this? Yeah. You know, that, that's a, a, no, a no brainer for me because it's for me, it's uh, a lot of it's about networking. You know, I've always I've always learned so much more going to these events, actually more, uh, you know, sitting at, you know, meeting new people, people I've talked to over the Internet, over the phone, never I never met in person, you know, like yourself, you know, and sitting down with them over dinner and just picking their brain, you know, and, 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 and doing things like that. So I, I think that's huge because, you know, I still talk to people uh, from the Miami conference two years ago, you know, and we still have that connection and, and we've actually formed a couple of partnerships along the way from two years ago. You, you see what I mean? So, so that's, what's huge about this thing. And I don't know how many people are going to be there. My imagine. Uh, I imagine that there's going to be a, a lot of people there. So, I mean, there's going to be somebody that you talk to probably over the phone and, and you know, over the internet and, and you can network with them. It, it's going to pay huge dividends. That's cool, man. That's super cool. That's super cool. Okay. So, so thank you for doing that, buddy. I really appreciate it, dude. If you guys want to meet Matt and he's been, he's been awesome. He, he, he's, he's offered help. He said, Hey, I want to be a part of this thing. He's going to be on the panel. If you guys want to meet Matt, you got to come to 8% Nation literally in 21 days. Dude, thank you very much for taking a little time out of your day to, to visit, man. Three weeks, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Three weeks, man. It's crazy. It's flying by, brother. Dude, it's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be cool. Hey, for those that are on the fence, you want to meet Matt, you want to be a part of this deal, VIP is already sold out. We just added a new executive ticket. Our party is past full. Go to 8percentnation.com to grab your seat. Matt. Thanks again, brother. Looking forward to meeting you. Okay. Take care. Thank you, man. You too.